<coughs> First item on the agenda is apologies for absence. We haven't got anybody absent. It makes a change. Declarations of interest. To receive and consider any declarations of interest from members and officers under yes. Section 50 of the Local Government Act 2000, Standing Order 35. This requirement applies only in respect of matters which are to be considered by the committee this evening. To declare any disclo disclo disclosable pecuniary interests? No. Yes. Declare any other interests? No. No. Representations of interested parties? Mm -hmm. None. Yeah. Minutes of the previous meeting? To approve the minutes of the previous meeting held on 28th of November. That's those present at the time. Uh, so we got the vowel, we've got Jerry. yourself, yeah. you've got and Jerry. the mayor. Mm -hmm. So the rest of us have to keep quiet. Yes, okay. Who's yes, proposing? You. you propose it, yeah? I propose it, yeah. 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 <coughs> All those in favour? Yeah. Carried unanimously amongst those over there. I don't know this bit. To, to it. Sorry, yeah. Okay. Every page, isn't it? Yes, every page and date in the last. Thank you. Right. Item EM seventeen point one one four. Sounds like Star Trek. To agree to adopt a life at Bassett Place. I'll propose that if you like. Or... I'll second well, it. Well, hang on. What do we do with that? We need to discuss it. Half the room won't know what it's been about. No. Um, the light, the, the light at Bassett Place um, is in an unadopted road. It's not. Uh, it, the light doesn't appear to belong to anybody, and seems to be the responsibility <coughs> of the householders. Rather than see them in the dark over the cold winter months, we offered to look at the problem. If it was a simple matter of a bulb, we'd replace the bulb. Um, and we said it would come back before this council to look at it again after. But I don't know that we were necessarily, unless we've got all the legal ins and outs of it, I don't know that we necessarily want to adopt the light, we just carried out a repair so they weren't in darkness through the winter months. Is that the situation as Chair remembers so, it? Yes, that's exactly right. <clears throat> I don't know, personally, I don't know what uh, the implications of adopting the light are. How much? Oh, right. presumably, we, presumably we have to replace it if um, it goes wrong. Where did the suggestion to adopt it come from? Did we uh, they try came. to think? Somebody yeah. came from Bassett. Place, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. But to talk to yeah. us. Well, we, we agreed to repair it. We agreed to repair it, and that wasn't very much money. No, I just thought it was we agreed to look to repair it, and if it wasn't much money, we'd repair it. Yeah, that's, that's but where we I'm weren't going. about to take on a commitment that yeah. could end up with us with a legal requirement on an unadopted road to take an unadopted light uh, without a lot of care and consideration. So we said we'd get them out of a mess because we didn't want them in the dark. Yeah. But we, I think we need to be careful that we know all the facts before we jump in. I don't know. What? Facts. facts. Because nobody, um, the county council don't own it, East North Lance don't own it. It's a private road. Um, we shouldn't yeah. adopt it. We should just say, we'll help you out. Mm. And that's, that's it. We do yeah, not we adopt it. We, we do not take miles. any legal responsibility for its maintenance in the future, is my opinion. Yeah. And, it and that's it. Pounds to it's what? It, it costs so. a lot more if we have to replace it at some point. Well, yes, but if we don't. But, but I'm afraid, you know, if you somebody who lives on a private road, you know, so I'm afraid that's the sort of thing you have to put up with. Mm -hmm. As a, a, a councillor not a million miles away yeah, now, is, exactly. um, when you live on Riverside yeah, Close, yeah, which is an unadopted road. We have a road fund. Yes. E exactly. Right. Adopt the light, you might end up also, uh, technically, end up adopting the road as well, because you'll have cable under the road and all sorts of things that no. you might... Oh, this is a rat's nest. We shouldn't go anywhere near this. I think we should agree that we will... Uh, repair it or make it work again in some way, but there's no way we, sh we should be adopting this. Yeah. So 
50 going to say that the Wentworth Drive, um, from Wentworth Drive over to Creed Road, you know that green bit yeah, that yeah. Lobby, that light was, um, which obviously belongs to whoever, council, um, county council, it has been damaged and it's at still at that angle, no one's bothered to come nobody out will take no. No. So, I don't see that there's any point in, well, be just, just keep the light going, the bulb. But we don't even have to commit ourselves to that. that. We just commit, yeah, ourselves, I, commit ourselves to giving a hand. No, to the I agree. But if unless the the, the the sun is just out of the universe somewhere, um, well, this is like, like kind of a gesture of goodwill, which we could advertise and say. No, that's why I asked the question because no, I don't I know where that comes from. I mean, we offered to repair it if it was reasonable. I think we've done that. We've mm -hmm. given them light through the winter. Mm -hmm. Light presumably is still working, mm -hmm. as far as we know. So I think we've done what we set out to do. Um, we don't particularly, I, I don't feel, it's entirely up to this meeting, I don't feel we want to take on a liability yeah. I agree. if we don't have to. So are we... Um... Yeah. Can I just ask a question though? How did this come on the agenda? Because well, it says it to agree it. to adopt a light. Yeah. So who, who put this forward? Hanukkah. Was it a councillor? Right, okay. At the, if you look on your minutes of previous yeah, meeting, the meeting in November, well, I didn't come one, of the, that, so one of the so. residents came along to represent the others saying, would we adopt it? And at that time, again, it was on there as, would we adopt this light? Okay. And we said we couldn't do it unless we had enough information. And then I said, but we can't leave somebody in the dark all winter. So why don't we look at how difficult it is to repair it? If it's not too difficult, we'll repair it, which we've done. And we'll revisit the thing later, which is why it's back on the agenda as adopt it. So do we need a formal motion now just to vote against it? Yeah. yeah, we do. Yeah. Well, okay. well, we just, you put the motion, don't you? And then we vote on it. Okay. Good. All right, do we agree to adopt the motion? Yeah, I just don't add that we ought to write, to the, write the residents and say Yeah, I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm. yeah, although, right. although we've fixed it, we, yeah. uh, this isn't, yeah. it doesn't mean we've adopted yeah. it. So yeah. we've, done it mm -hmm. we've done it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, good. Yeah, I'll rephrase that. Yeah. Yeah. Do Absolutely. we agree not to adopt this light at Bassett Place? Well, yeah, it won't. You've proposed no, it. You Who, don't. You pro Are we going to propose, is it to agree not to, pro not to adopt not it to adopt or, it, but or to, to adopt it? No, no, hang on a minute. The motion is to agree to adopt it. Okay. And we vote on the motion. So okay. all those in favour are. Really? Hang on, well, but we need a proposal and a seconder. Second exactly. Doesn't, doesn't go through anyway. That's so, it. That's it. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can I just propose that we do write to the residents yeah. and let them know that yeah. we have done it at goodwill, but we're yeah. not prepared to adopt it, and they should make arrangements to yeah. ensure that it's maintained in the future. And I would we'll we'll second that as a proposal. I'll propose as an amendment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So those, yeah, those, yeah. Um, I, those in favour. Definitely. This one will do a second. Right. Next item on the agenda is to review cemetery fees of 2018 to 2019 and to agree a policy of not pre-booking graves as grave spaces are so low. It is so oh, short. So that we got it. Mm. Ah. Yes. I was going to ask, ask that. <laughs> I thought to myself, I'm not one then. These are the current fees. Now, the only, I can only find a good thing to see. Yeah, that's what I'll share it with you. Have you got, got quite enough? Okay. I want to get all the spots and stuff. Yeah, I know, but to compare <laughs> to, I think you normally put them up by um, RPI. Yep. From what I could gather. But having looked at this, some don't go up, some haven't gone up. Like those two have stayed the same. The uh, internments have stayed the same since 2015 stroke 16. And maybe before that, presumably. Ooh. Would it? I don't know, they, they just right. haven't changed in yeah. the last two Ooh, for, for some years. time, yeah. Yeah, but the others, it looks like they've gone up, like, that's the purchase of exclusive rights of burial for a double grave space went from 310 to 320. Um, so Non-resident 640, uh, 640 from 620. Maybe, maybe, sorry, <coughs> sorry. it's after you. Maybe RPI into the nearest ten pounds. Mm -hmm. 
RPI, do, uh, taking RPI from December 2017 is 4.1. If I recall correctly, and I, I'd lo love to come back to this subject, but I don't want to bore people. Um, but uh, it was always a pretty well RPI or something near it. Well, that's rounded a bit, which seems reasonable. But the interesting thing about this is as grave spaces are so low. Phew. Now, it happens to be that in 2010, and I got the article here, uh, I said, I'm very worried about the fact that we're running out of grave spaces. So that's eight years ago. And where have we got? Nowhere. Neville, we are in the middle of negotiating to get more grave space. Yes, but I'm not aware of that. Nobody's told no, me that. But if you read your minutes, you would have been. Which minutes? It's been Previous come up minutes, no. loads of times. What, no, hang on a minute. No, no, which, which minutes? Not those. Previous ones. Neighbourhood plan. Well, no, let's see. We're, we're wandering all over the place. I am just telling you, as a councillor, I am not aware that there's been any discussion about additional cemetery space. It's something I've been banging on about for eight years. I'm Can speechless. I am. <laughs> I am speechless. How many spaces are there left? There's enough for about a year left. Yeah. But we'll well, have within our neighbourhood plan, we have yeah, okay. quite four, five, enough for another 90 years. Yeah, enough for another 90 May years. May I ask then, does this sit under neighbourhood plan or does it sit under estates? It's part of the all right, all right, okay, I'm losing the will to live now. Once, once that piece of land comes to us under the neighbourhood plan, once that development site is, uh, is approved and the plan adopted, that piece of land will become part of estates. Then we can get it consecrated and start burying people on it. Okay, which bit of land are we talking about? Are we talking about the land to the north, which is the fear fees? Are we talking yeah. the land to yeah, the east? Yeah. So I, I'm assuming that. Yeah. But well, that's been banging on for ages. When well, there was a big problem with that, it was that's always. What we say. Look, okay, I'll just shut up. I'm just, I'm just wasting my time. So would you like um, no. me to put it up? If it goes up by the RPI of 4.1%, it works out, well, I'll just that, that figure, it works out about £5. Do you want it to be sort of rounded up so that it, they're not... Well, maybe figures. rounded to the nearest £5? Yeah. I don't know, whatever yeah, not, it's feeling. Not 53. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's the motion then, is it? To increase the um, charges by... RPI rounded to the nearest five pounds. Can I propose that? Does that mean, sorry, rounded up or down to the nearest five yeah, pounds? Yeah, up or down to the nearest well, five uh, pounds. If you're increasing. So it's only just going up, it's not. Oh, sorry. Oh, what, oh, the actual rounding. Yeah. Yes. Um, well, either way, the round, round it to a. Yeah, so to, I mean, if to it, the nearest it works five pounds. A hundred and four. Four. Forty-five, then I'll do one hundred and four. If it rounds it to one hundred and four seventy-eight, I'll round it up. Yeah. Okay. No, I think we're just running out of five pounds. Nearest the five pounds. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah. So one hundred and four. If it's fifty-one, it goes up to the five pounds. You want it? Yeah. Forty-nine pounds. Just right. It just goes up to the nearest five as well. Never mind. Can I propose that, please? I'll second it. Okay. All those in favour? Okay. So I didn't get the proposal. Uh, Malcolm. But haven't we on the, on the also got a, a, a yes. not a no pre booking? To agree a policy of not pre booking graves as grave spaces are so low. At the moment, I think people can pre book, can't they? Yes. They have done as well. well. Yeah. No, they have done yeah. as well. And indeed, so, I might decide I might want to do that. Because we have, if people are coming in, I'll get in early. People come in, sort of, you know, and they're, you know, not looking to die for another twenty odd years, um, and buy their space. It means that we haven't got enough for actual people that die mm. and haven't bought a space. We haven't got a space. You know, we may not have a space for. Them. So the thought is, I mean, we don't, we stop letting people pre-book until we've got more space. Until we have oh, until until we we the extension. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, so it's a temporary. Yeah. Only, only until we get more space. Can I just ask, when people pre-book, do they 
or specific space or just yes. space. It is a, a specific, specific space. space, specific space. space. Yeah. And sometimes book two yeah. together. Or well, we've had four going up from. Uh, yeah, and we had four recently. Yeah, I don't think we should enter. So, if we're really short, then. Uh, yeah, we are really short. That's quite okay. interesting. Yeah. Right. So, we're going to have to get, yeah. we're going to have to get in quick soon. Yeah, if, if it's yeah, only a short term measure until we've got yeah. more space. So, the proposal is not to allow pre booking until we have more space for the mm. secretary. It's a shame that we're in specific places because you can pre book in the bit we haven't got yet, on the assumption we'll have it in the future. No, yeah, I don't know. Right, if we do, we can't. We can't just go to anything red Okay. You can guarantee the referendum, Councillor Hutton, that would be great. <laughs> 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 if it was a dead search, you might be able to. Okay. So, with agreeing to the referendum, is there anything else to add? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
EM 17.117 to agree a request from chat to install the chub lock to the inner office inner to the inner four office door. What's that mean? To the inner office door, I think, for additional client record security. I think there's some paperwork to do this. Yeah. There's the personal files, isn't it? They're not asking us to pay for anything other than the commission to work for the lock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably to do with the change in the data check. Yeah, it is. Yeah. They have to have all that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't see any reason why we shouldn't. Either. No, I, no, I think we should. Yeah. And they're they're going to put it in, so we have to pay. We don't forget we actually supply a massive grant to them every year. The yeah, one thing I would say so we are effectively paying for a lot of it. So yeah. the one thing I would say is that if they are going to put a chub block on, then we should inspect to make sure it is, you know, done properly. Yes. If, if we can commission your handyman to carry out the work. Yeah, yeah, they probably would. Ask, where, where does that say that? I didn't see that. It's I don't think the need for it. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's well, yeah, yeah, I think they'll probably ask us if John will yeah. have it. Yeah. 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 John will be in there like a... Yeah. John will do that. John will do that. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. That's yeah. So, the motion is to agree a request from Chad to install a chub lock. Yeah. Yeah. Just the uh, chub has got two B's, by the way. This is a silly. Another long cell phone. Just have to be chubby. If somebody prefers chubby. All those in favour. Seconded. You have to vote. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to have them make a profit on selling the property. Can we do that? I don't know. Try. I don't know. Mm. I don't see any reason why you know we should have to pay for our solicitors to read through all the documentation, come back to say, mm. yes, they can buy it or whatever, all and then we're stuck with the bill. They, they are giving us notice, they're not ask, asking us for permission to read it. No, they're giving us notice, but you know, the notice is we've got to find out what the legal uh, requirements are, because it still goes through the land that we own. It says the town council's view of access it. To it. Yeah. Access to it. Access is like through our, our land. It's through I think the there might be two issues. One is access to the rifle range itself, and that's been sold. We sold that some years ago, and we got that money is actually invested in this building. And that's one of the things we sold, we sold. to actually purchase this building with. Um, so we sold that. But I don't know whether those ammunition buildings, that there's one in our car park, whether in fact that was sold with it and that's still on our, is that what they're on about? That, yeah. that bit's yes. on our yeah. land yeah. and they are, we still own that. Yeah. We still own that. Well, we own the land, but we don't own those little buildings. So we don't own the buildings. So they've got a lease on it then. <clears throat> but also, um, and I've got a freehold. I'm just having a look. It does say in the letter it's a lease dated for <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's leased. It's, it's not leased. Yeah. It's leased. Mm -hmm. Which is why they're in Which is why they, they are yeah. legally obliged to, yeah. you know, whatever. <coughs> the other thing is that, that, that this rifle range thing, as, you know, uh, fellow councillors who were around at the time know, is full of, oh, it's just a mess of pottage. It really is. Mm. Now we forked out a very large sum of money to have the rifle range roof replaced. Yeah. And this is prior to the, the drill hall itself being sold. Um, I'm not sure whether we necessarily need legal advice. Every time you always talk about it, so you're always talking about a large sum of money. Well that's why I think we should get them to pay for it. I, I, I'm inclined to, to agree. Because uh, it's their that, problem, not ours. Yeah, whoever they are selling the, this pension fund are selling the rifle range back to the Andal Rifle Club mm. anyway. Yeah, exactly. mm. um, the second last paragraph says, in these circumstances, please treat the centre as notice specific clause 12.3. Mm -hmm. Any transfer of the land to the town council will be subject to the lease dated 5th of June 2009. Yeah, I don't understand what. That's a bit no. Well, it's, uh, look, honestly, yeah. this is my They don't even use us, they're completely empty. So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's better if they were knocked down. Yes, but they, well, we, we, they we, may not be easy to knock can, down. Can I, I just know. point out, we wanted to knock the whole thing down originally. Mm. And then we had an almighty job. How many years ago was that, uh, Councillor? Six, seven years, yeah, something like that? Yeah. We, 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 we basically wanted to get rid of them because um, one of the issues with them is that um, most of their members of the Rifle Club have got no connection with Andal whatsoever. And that was one of the big things. Because yeah. people were saying, look, hang on a minute, why are you, you know, having to fork out this, all this money and 99.9% .9 of the people who use it are not Andal residents and don't therefore pay any local council tax. Now look, I could, I could rattle on. I, I'll try not to. But I'm just trying to put a bit of history here. This is this is mired in. Oh, sorry. No. No. Council, yeah. I think, in view of the obvious complexity of this, the fact it's written in legal language, I, I'm agreeing with Councillor Peel that we write suggesting that we get our solicitor to look at it, yes. mm -hmm. uh, provided they're prepared to pay the the cost of our solicitor to look at it on our behalf. I agree. Um, that's not unusual. Well, it's not unusual. No, it? I mean, no. it's them, them that want to make the change. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. Yeah. To us. It's basically, I think, the same thing. Basically. I think that. I think that. We're a third party okay. in this yeah. sale. Yeah. So, are you proposed uh, making? Can I propose that? that, that we that's fine. Now, hang on a minute. Um, uh, uh, David Chapel knows more about yeah. this than, than, than you know. I don't think. I mean, if David was prepared to have a look at this. We don't necessarily have to pay a lots of money. David will have a look at it, because he knows a lot about this, because he was mired in the whole thing uh, all those years ago. So, 
I'm, I'm quite yeah. happy to go along with getting legal yeah. advice. Yeah. But it would be a good send idea. A letter sent to Daniel Barry saying that we are prepared to look at it through our. Uh, through uh, and seek legal advice, which they will have to pay for. Uh, if we don't do that, mm. and then we come back to the and say, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, know, I know is no, extremely I'm busy at the moment. Yeah. So, for him to find time to look at this uh, would be extremely difficult. It'll be a long while before he can look at it because there's other things he's looking at for okay. me on the neighbourhood plan, legal issues, and he's you know he's struggling to find time for that. So I think we need really to write this letter and see if they agree, agree to pay off. I'm not sure that's his, his, his sector of expertise either. It's no, 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 no. Yeah. My point so is, he knows more about it than... Yeah, okay. Yeah. You, you, you know, it just I, know, I think Councillor Peel's right. We put this motion forward mm -hmm. and we write them a letter Fine. advising them this is sure. Yep. Roy has proposed it. second well, yes, yeah, oh, I'm certainly not. I don't mind. I'll go along with that. Okay, all those in favour? Yeah, we're in. Carried unanimously. So you, can, you have the pleasure of writing back to uh, Daniel in, yes. in, in, in solicitor speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am, sir, your obedient servant. <laughs> the next item on the agenda is, to, is EM 17.119 to agree to a request from James Dean. I don't know, he's around. Fun <laughs> fairs to hold a fair on the well, recreation ground. He disappeared Friday, twelfth, two thousand eighteen, to Monday, fifteenth of April, two thousand. He did disappear a long time ago. Should, uh, yep. hurry up yeah. Hello. These are the people we normally have. Yeah. Yeah. They are, yeah. and, and su good. subject to the usual things about you know the site. Obviously, like a few days before, because obviously he's bringing it forward, so it's yeah. April, so it could mm. be mm. wet. Well, it's, it's, it's probably because of the Yeah. Um, mm. If it's too wet, then he won't do it. But he wants to just have it a bit earlier. Okay. I, no, no, they, they, we've I, never, I we've never had a problem with them in the past. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, so. I'm still in. I'm on the big dipper. <laughs> Who's second? <laughs> All those in favour? Last, yep. just, to, just to add, I think last time we just mentioned something about the number of vehicles, cars and things that were parked as well as the fair, just to keep it all sort of tidy, but they did, so yeah. mm -hmm. that was the only thing. I remember. Well, we've got those gates up now as well, which help. You see, <coughs> that's it on a bit of memory. EM 17.120. To consider reviewing the museum trust lease. Can you fill this in the back? Right. I, I, right. <clears throat> I should have actually, maybe I'll put my hand up now, I'd probably have to go and say I have to declare an interest because I am a member of the museum so trust. Die, so and so, so I, I, I've got to make a declaration on this one. Mm -hmm. so three. Yeah. Yeah. three of us are trustees. Yeah. Um, but. Um, the situation is they got a long-term lease with the council. I don't know the reasoning behind it. They recently asked if they could have a renewal of the lease. Now, it doesn't run out from what Hanneke told me until 2022. No, it's uh, actually, it's 20... uh, 2021. 2021. Well, uh, no. You're actually technically right because it's the 31st of the 12th, 2020. <laughs> no, no, it's 20, yeah, 21. So by the 1st of the 1st, 21, they won't have a this. Right. 1st of the 1st, 21. It's a long way away. First, was that, where were we? Sorry, where were we in the 1st of the 1st, 21 we got to then? We? Yes. Right. That's when it's, it's expired. Yeah. Okay. So that's three years. So what yeah. are they asking us to review? Well, they are saying that they are seriously worried. One of them is threatening to resign as a trustee mm -hmm. over a couple of issues. One is they want to change the trust document. They've made up their mind what they want, but they haven't consulted us. And we're half the trustees, so we're now looking at what, what we think should be the trust document. That's one issue. The other issue is um, that they're saying this is due and... They need, uh, they need to sort it out quickly. Time is passing away. Now, I suspect what they might be saying to us uh, in a roundabout way is they're perhaps looking at getting some grants from this 
Museum Development East Midlands, MDEM, who's an organisation that's given them 1500 for the moment for some sort of terminal in there for visitors to key in their responses when they leave to say how much they've enjoyed the trip around the museum. Um, I think they've probably offered them a huge grant and lots of support, but only on the basis that they've got a long li life lease. Because we've had the same thing with tennis. Mm. They couldn't get anything from the Lawn Tennis Association to help improve their facilities down Occupation Road. Yep. We've just, last year, we did exactly the same thing with Rugby Club. Yep. Because in order for them, they've just moved up a league last year, or this current season, and they wanted to enhance their facilities because they have to under the league rules. The RFU wouldn't give them any money because they'd only got a few years left on their lease. So I think what they're looking for is a long, long lease from us with a lot of years to run so they get some grants. They haven't said so, but I think that's what's behind it. I must have another meeting, I think, with John Hadman, who is the uh, chair of the management committee there, and see exactly what it is, why they want it, because I don't see particularly why, at this stage, we need worry about a lease that's still got three years to run. To run. Well, I think in principle, we shouldn't be wasting our time and energy unless they give us a good reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Haven't. Yeah. Well, I don't, you see. I don't agree. We uh, need to... They, they need stability and know where they are. Um, well, they've got it for the next three years. Well, look, look, yeah, but those of us who were around when we were going to sell the courthouse and find somewhere else for them to live uh, will remember the difficulties we had and the massive amount of support uh, that they managed to drum up at uh, St Peter's. I, I cannot agree. I think they need stability. Um, I've declared my interest. I'll stick with that. Um, I, don't, I don't think we should fob this off because this is another classic example of putting off till tomorrow what you should be doing today. It's a classic. We should be saying that, come on, what we're talking about and we've got to say we either support the museum in its current premises and we do provide them with a significant amount of funds in two different ways, grant and also we let them have the premises an incredibly reduced price related to the retail uh, element of that and the financial you know, people around here will know that. Councillor Chester. I, I'm in the same position as Neville, I'm a trustee of the museum. I think that they've, they've had a lease for a very long time. They must know how secure they are. Mm, yes. I, I agree with, with um, Councillor Sparks that I think they've been spooked by this woman from the... Mm. the um, Sorry, by the by what? This, this organisation. Can we go into closed session for just a minute? Because there's a couple of things I think we need to get clear here before we go any further. Could we have a proposition that... Um, in the interests of, I, I can't remember the exact words. Have you yeah, got well, that? I don't, I'd just say, you wouldn't have to say the exact words. Just say. In the public interest, um, I propose that we go into closed session and turn off the recorder Seconder. just for a couple of minutes. Do I have a seconder, no. Councillor Oakes? All those in favour? Yeah. All those against? <laughs> Abstaining. What I want to say well, is, I turn the it's not off yet. Um, right, let's turn this off first. Off. And then. It's OK, I'm looking at the time. Shall I just finish what I... Right. <coughs> okay, you it says, problem. to consider reviewing the Museum Trust lease is what's on there. And basically, we've just gone through reviewing it, sort of, but the proposal here is to consider reviewing it. And I'm perfectly happy to propose that and say we should review it. But we should certainly go into a little bit more dialogue because some of the things I've heard don't fit with bits I know. So we'll I can see that. no reason to renew it, uh, to review it. Yeah, no. yeah, but the point is, that's, and not, is more, what, that is not, that's not what's on the table. Can I ask the clerk? You have a proposal, you need to have a second. Exactly. But can I just look at the wording? Does review mean renew in this instance? No. no. What does re review mean in this instance? I, no. 
Well, we've reviewed the lease. We've the lease doing, is at yeah. 2021. Yeah. So we're leaving it until 2021. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Unless, unless we have a good reason not to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll continue to review it with the intention of yeah. agreeing a new form in, 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 yeah. in a appropriate yeah. time. Last yeah. week's Absolutely. trustees meeting, um, they asked me, would I take it to estates and ask estates to review it? We so have. I said, I will put it on the agenda of estates. Um, but I don't think there's any urgency. It'll be up to estates what they do. Um, but you've got plenty of time left. There's time for us to look at it. You know, they were saying, well, it's that time soon passes. We'll all forget it and it'll run out before we know it. I think the thing is, you know, we need to now um, put this full review process into place very soon. Um, get this all sorted amicably and then carry on running the museum again. Would it not be also a good idea that we have three trustees on the Estates Committee? Wouldn't it be a good idea if those three trustees sat down with the other trustees and just said, look, we're not really going to be doing anything until 2021, but we're quite happy to talk about it. Because mm. I think that way we're, we're keeping a dialogue open. Mm. There's, there's the three people here that can do that and understand that uh, museum. I don't because I've only been there once and I still really haven't sort of taken it all in because I didn't really look that far. Uh, so really I think it should be left to you three to sort of talk to them. Demo, do you think that's about right? And then go from there. I think I'm going to just sit tight on this one. Well, I think yeah, but you're a trustee. No, so yeah, I know, but I've declared an interest. Yeah, I know, and, 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 and so is and, and, and I know. And so is, uh, look, and I've no. also been through the whole business about the museum, the selling of the courthouse, the big well, meeting in St just, Peter's. All right, well, there's a what ton is of history. But that excuse me, hang on a minute. Yeah, I've been through this massive process of which has involved the museum. The museum is not a money-making exercise. No. We all know that. And, you know, we might start looking at the hub very seriously and look, thinking the same thing. The fact is that I've never seen so many people at a meeting as when the issue of moving the museum came up. I mean, St Peter's was racked with people. So one of the things I'm trying to keep my hand on the pulse here and go, hmm, what do the residents think about this? Now, one of the interesting things about the museum is that an awful lot of locals have never been there. OK, Neville. We all support the museum. We all want to see it stay. We think it's a valuable asset to this town. However, we have to move on. So I don't see any reason why we should review a lease which is not got to come up for three years unless you know we, we know why and you three guys can find out why presumably mm -hmm. so can I have a proposal please yeah, what, what is the, what's what's the proposition the, please the proposition is to allow the three trustees that are on the estates committee to meet with the trustees of the museum to discuss why they want to talk about reviewing a new lease now uh, and to bring it back to the Estates Committee in the future. Seems reasonable to okay. me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay. I'd say All those in favour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Councillor Peel. Not easy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, next item, this should be easier, I think. Yeah, EM 17.121 to agree a date to complete the Estates Tour. When it's warm and sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Or should we start again <laughs> next year? It will be about time to start again at this point. It will be. It? Can, can I just say, uh, I, I feel uh, that I can't do Sundays, and I'll tell you the reason why. It's the only day that my wife and I have together. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were going to say we to church, but I knew that wasn't right. Yeah. So I would prefer not to do a Sunday. I'm quite happy to book a diary date in my diary and say, right, you know, Monday afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday morning, whatever you want to do that, but I can't do a Sunday and I can't do a Saturday because I work Saturdays. How far did you get before? Well, we did about three quarters of it, didn't we? I didn't know. Yeah. So I think maybe we should. We Recreation should. ground and occupation room to do. I think most of the other we've done, haven't we? Yeah, we have. 
I mean, I, I know there were lots of copious notes being taken, but I don't, I don't actually, I haven't seen a report. I don't know that's because no. we haven't finished it or because we haven't. Um, so it's all very well saying we did the report round, but unless someone's got all the details, the ones yeah, I'll have a look for them. I haven't been given them. Right. Well, from 2010. So I think, but so excuse I will me. have a look. Sorry. If I can't find anything, I need to well, just do a quick, more quick walk again. And again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> but this is not the weather to do it. In, is it? No. Why don't we leave it to the spring? Yeah. Well, basically, look, you've got the sports clubs and field. Oh, this is what I wrote in 2010. Mm -hmm. I'm being boring, but I did. I just pulled this out. It's quite funny, really. Do they know? Sports clubs and fields, Memorial the Wreck, basically, the Jane Strong. We've got our car park, we've got the market. You don't have it to worry anymore about the cemetery chapel or the lodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I suggest some dates? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to refer yeah. it until the spring? Or what about the toilets? We well, we've lost them as well. No, we pay for them. Yeah, so I'll put. Um, I won't be here. <laughs> do you want to wait till you're back then? You know, yeah, when are you back? Let's get uh, Well, I'm back on April the 5th, 6th. Which is just into the next. Mm. Just Where just the, the eyes of And then I'm going away from the 15th to the 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. oh, but, you won't want to be going on a tour of the not I don't mind, no, that's oh. fine. Uh, so I'll send some dates out. In April, then, okay. in that small window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When's Easter? Uh, end of March. Yep. Uh, 28th or 29th. It is a small window, then, isn't it? I think we. So we're not agreeing a date, we're agreeing to. I'll look at it in March. Okay. Can I just say, uh, we've got an obligation in our terms of reference that we're supposed to do. I think it says in there we do two tours a year, but in actual fact, we, we certainly have always done one since I've been on the council. We've essentially done most of it. I think we've done the, the major bits of it. So I think we've covered it for this year substantially enough to put it into next year. Early next year, we need to get out there when the nights are light, one evening, get out and do it. Um, and, and get it done. Okay. Right, one of the issues about that was basically health and safety because part of what we maintain has got play equipment and things like that and that has to be part of any assessment that we make. It's assessed weekly. It is, but the and point is, is, but we have to be seen to be assured that it is assessed. Do you know what I mean? Yes. In other words, Absolutely. the record keeping has got to be, yep, John and Nobby have gone out there. Now, I've got photographs of bits of, you know, all sorts yeah. of stuff falling off things. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, but the, uh, we fell down on that in an audit about four years ago, simply because we just didn't have the records. Yeah, they, They'd done it. They, they, yeah, yeah. But that's the point I'm making. Well, I think we should have a, a, a European tour. <laughs> And then Asia Stroke <laughs> Austria tour. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Don't you think? I mean, no, Russia. Hang on a minute, look. No, look. I've been to Russia, I don't really need No, 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 there's now what? Look, there you are, there's Berlin, there's now. I'm just. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to We'll have a bit of a laugh about right. it. Right, we'll, we'll have that. I, I'm going shortly. Okay, right. sorry. Can we move on, please? So the EM 17.122. Oh, goodness me. Received progress report, yes. Emma? Yes, right. I yes. have spoken to Joe. Rosa, who is your architect, and as we speak this week, he is preparing building regulations, drawings, and specifications. And once they are done, um, which he hopes to get to me this week, um, we can then go out to get tenders. Good. Um, uh, I'm, I don't know what you had agreed with Hanukkah, but. Um, I think it might be best that we have a project manager as well within those tenders, so somebody's project manager rather than it's down to me, because I don't really feel I have the time to do that. I think it's fair enough. Let me put my hand up. It's right on my street. Are you talking about professional? Yeah. Yeah. So so I'm not saying you're not professional, Em. Never. Like you were really on wobbly ground there. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I mean... But somebody who actually does the job. Yeah, whoever... Who's paid to do it. Yeah, but I used to do I used to do this sort of stuff. But the point is that you know, you know you, you're a person who actually works as a project manager. You work with people who are doing the business. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be uh, the bloke who builds it. I don't know what the definition of a word professional is in these contexts. I mean, you need a bag who can lay bricks, a bloke who can design it, somebody who can get it through the building regulations. There's a ton of stuff. Okay. Can I can I refer to uh, Councillor Hutton's uh, chat earlier uh, in regard to the flat house extension? Uh, obviously, we're going ahead as we are at the moment, but I still think that we should possibly look at what's going to happen to the new space if the hub doesn't use it. And be prepared to adapt that new space to something else. I don't think now is necessarily the time, and I don't have a problem with continuing the plan. No, that's what I'm not saying we shouldn't do it. And, the, um, and, and, and getting quotes for the work. Mm. I think when we make when we're asked to make a decision for council as to whether or not to go ahead, I think we need to have that in mind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the time to, agree, that's yeah. time to consider it, in my view. The end of right. the Okay. No. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the new workshop. Um, yeah, so this is something that um, we have, uh, by the looks of things, there are some costings. There's still, from what I gather, um, we haven't got a quote for a concrete floor pad. Uh, pad. And also, um, although this guy, I don't know how much of this you've seen, this company, has anybody seen this? No. Um, well, this is a company that was contacted um, and they have done some drawings for this actual steel building. But um, as far as I can see, there aren't any plans. Have you an architect or any plans for this? No, I don't remember seeing that. Have we got with cyclone, if I, sorry. No. Malcolm, I, I remember something about this uh, because Charlie was dealing with these, these people. Right. Okay. And, and I, as I understood, uh, they were a standard yeah. self, almost self erecting yeah. steel yeah. building. Yeah, right. And they didn't actually need plans, it was just the base. Well, and you did everything else. I have seen an email from, um, I think uh, Hannah did um, ask. Somebody eating on plants for some advice on how deep to have the concrete mm. pad and something like that. And um, he gave us some advice, but then said, please ensure that our building regulations for plan, plan applications is submitted prior to the next Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. The idea was that, was that that's, a, that's a basically a standard factory unit, if you like, but, and then yeah. you have to put plans in. Yeah. But they, you know, the Can I ask you a question, Emma, please? <laughs> who's handling this in the office? So who's pulling it all together? Well, Hanukkah was. Yeah, Hanukkah was. Well, not now, so who's who well, doing it from now? Because there isn't anybody else. Yet. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah. Do you think you're going to change that situation, <coughs> possibly? Change what situation? Where you'll be looking after it, so that nobody else can take over. Well, there isn't anybody else. So okay. it either gets done or it doesn't. All right. Can I, again, mm. sorry. Sorry, I'm not going to go either. Yeah, if you don't want me to do it, then... No, it's fine. I'm just worried about you working too tight. The only thing yeah. I would say is that... Well, that, that is an issue, but, yeah. um, you know, it's... Has Emma got time? That's the problem, mm, isn't that's it? Well, that's exactly what, what I'm saying, yeah. I mean, Charlie Best was actually doing yeah. it. I mean... Uh, I think hannah has got some... She's had some quotes for electrical connections and things like mm. that, but a lot of this is all dependent on plans. Well, she's she's shown me to have some plans. Mm, yeah. mm. She's shown me that she went through everything in terms of um, gas, water, yeah. electric, um, sewerage, uh, mm. everything to do with that site. She looked at all the services and where they were coming from. She worked out what it was going to cost to have trenches dug and where to. Um, she got everything worked out. Apart from, I think there was about one item well, that she had. Well, at the moment, the concrete which, pad, yeah. the trench for yeah. the utility supplies mm. still needs quote. Right. We have the electrical connection quote. We've got that come through gas. They won't give supplies until we've got plans. Um, planning right. commission is about three and a half thousand, and um, there's sort of four thousand for toilet and kitchen. 
right. inside. So, so there are, there is still a bit so of stuff. So we get to vote for our next <coughs> meeting, which will be a council meeting. I mean, I think what we need to do... Can we have a summary then? I think what we need to do is engage with an architect mm. okay. first. So we need to go out for quotes from an architect and approve those so that uh, we then get... Uh, we then get this moving forward, get the planning permission in, then the gas people will be able to quote us once we've got got that in place and we can get the whole thing erected. Is there something in your The sooner we do that, the sooner we come out of leasehold property. Uh, yes. We're paying money that we're getting nothing for. This will be our own. Mm. Um, and we're adjusting yeah. the payment of the Public Works Loan Board loan to be equal to the rent. Last meeting minutes were get an architect yeah. mm. and uh, out to tender by next full mm. council. Yeah. Yes. In, uh, November. So, but, uh, um, it's the same message. Yeah, right. so, the uh, that's already been agreed, so I will mm. go yeah. out and try and get a new okay. architect. All right. okay. Are you okay with me speaking to Joe Coyne's? This man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah as he's already yeah. Are we going to yeah. ask more than one architect this time? Oh, we didn't. We didn't. Well, we three did before. Yeah. We had Mark Benz. Yeah. We had Joe Crozer, and we also had um, a third one who is based in town. Um, he was a member of the trade association whose name I can't think of at the moment. Yeah, we had three. Yeah. So we yeah. should have three again. Yeah. yeah. Same three. Probably. And the people above. I think uh, one may not. Mm. Um, no, there one was, may not. Yeah. There are others, but uh, I think the one you might be thinking about was the one that people who were above uh, Coo. Right? Okay. okay. Can we move on to Stein Meadow, please? Can I just go back? Yeah. One. We, we, we're looking for project manager for the Flatten House extension. Mm. Right. Why don't we use the same person to do the, the new workshop as well? Well, I think we first of all we've got to get an architect. Well, yeah, what I'm saying is yeah. before we move on if we that. can carry on mm. with that same person, we'll have a history. See how that person yeah. works out. If they yeah. work out fine, we can have them do both projects. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I, don't know, I don't know the architect you're talking about, but it's not really an architect, it's a structural engineer you need to design this foundation. So it's not, you know, there's no Yeah, there's well, that's no, what the guy from Eastern Thanks talks about, your engineer. There's no real architecture involved because it's a flat plan. Yeah. That's why I'm saying we don't need an architect. No. The clever design, we just need a. Smart man on the slab. <laughs> well, I presume these people supplying the uh, prefab building can do us drawing. No, apparently they don't. No, that's no. what they won't do. No. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we've got to go out for somewhere else. Okay, all right. Smart Meadow. Uh, right, the um, Eastman plans have applied, for, have sent an invoice to the developers for the money, which is £46,124.60. They have that money now, so we can now go out and. Mm -hmm. um, you know, get a get some quotes. Um, I ha I'm going with John on Friday to have a look, and we're going to sort of do some measuring. Yeah. And um, guy from Johnny from Simon <coughs> happened to be in the room at the time, but so um, he said he'll come down and he'll be one of the people to quote mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. But he yeah. was, uh, if you remember, before he was the uh, the cheapest of them all anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. I mean, I know him, so I, I want, again, I'll, I'll, I'll say that I've got an interest in this. But, I mean, he knows what he's doing, mm -hmm. and his, his explanation to me worked out really, really well, because what he was saying is it's using mature oak, yeah, which will last you ten about. times longer, mm -hmm. and it's half the price of... of yeah, that's what we uh, about. The, 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 the sort of I mean, it's not going to be 46,000, is it? Nothing like that. Well, not, not, mm -hmm. for, not with Johnny, that's for sure. What, straight Some of the boats were on that. Yeah, yeah, they were. Some of them were. Plastic one was not. The plastic yeah. one is very expensive material, mm -hmm. actually. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it is. I, I mean, I can see we struggled a little bit for people to quote a bit the last time I spoke to it. Um, uh, well, I'm at uh, Wixie Park. I've had fabulous work done right. there. Um, I'm just thinking about bringing them to yeah. say who did it. And Paul, Paul, Paul Seed, yeah, sorry, I was just going to say the same thing. He's done them for Stanic Lakes. Mm -hmm. He's done oh, some right, of these. Okay. He said he'd yeah. take us down there. Yeah. He said he'll show us what he's done down there. He's done the same thing there with them. And, uh, you know, they could. So would he quote for us? He, he won't. No, but we could see what, what you get for your money. But the, com oh, right. the companies he's used. Oh, right, right. okay. Oh, he oh, would oh, put us in touch with people who've done that. Yeah. And we could also see some some actual... Examples. Examples of it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> what we've got to remember is, um, 
from uh, we, we don't want to build it as it is now we want it slightly wider yeah. with yeah. bigger passing bays so two wheelchairs can pass without one of them having to reverse halfway <coughs> if they yeah. meet in the middle and also to <coughs> extend the, the the planking right up to the river's bank so that for the fishermen, fishermen in wheelchairs yeah. can fish at that river bank yeah. right at yeah. the far yeah, end. Yeah, I mentioned that to Johnny. <coughs> come down so that was all yeah. part of our spec, revised spec, yeah. which wasn't in the yeah. original. Well, we've got the money. Yeah. yeah. Let's, oh, let's get ahead of so it. Yeah. Let's get it quite away. Oh. Maybe we'll get it done before, uh, okay. yeah. before the summer starts. So okay. we have the quotes by the next mm -hmm. council meeting, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Right, <coughs> close for repairing potholes and white line painting in Cow Park. Right, yeah, this is something that I'm not quite familiar with, and what the information I've got is a bit confusing, and what I saw in the minutes of the previous piece is a little bit confusing. I think, have you put aside an amount of money, about 500 or so? I think we did. Um, but looking at this quote, um, yeah. their daily charges, minimum charge is £595 for mm -hmm. the day. That's yeah. um, <laughs> not enough. But then list below are our uplifts and minimum visit charges, should they be required. Yeah. Um, and so day is £595, um, rib straight machine crew is £1,850. In I, I don't really know what all of this is, I'd have to go back and speak to you. Inset stud crew. £1,250. Yeah. Removal by hydroblast, I'm assuming that's removal of, removal of old lines, lines £3,000. Yeah. Removal by Lance crew, £590. If you want this happening um, at night or at weekend, you have to um, increase yeah. the price by 20%. I was going to say, you multiply so that. So I just wondered whether you perhaps... I wonder about that. I think so. <laughs> 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 Can't get the little white line. Um, they're not all the same size out here, but I think these were done with something called a paintbrush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> and a man with a ruler. <laughs> There's nothing about potholes in here. So because I, I, I just would say potholes that have been filled in are all. There's a massive, great big pothole at the drill hall car park. If you go down it, you bust your car. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. There's one down um, there. Is this a, a job that Nobby and Johnny rose. can do or not? Well, not that hot hole. That's no, no. Well, what I'll, the painting what I'll do, of the lines, yeah. I'll go down with John um, and take some pictures and then I'll speak to the people. Yeah. I know a few yeah. okay. tarmacers. Right. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, well, a few tarmacers. Next item. Next item. <laughs> the quote to replace <laughs> gate hole, uh, courthouse gates. I haven't got anything on this. I'm assuming nothing is going to do. Okay. Can I just ask you about that? Because we um, had a struggle. Are we talking about the gates that are with the arches? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Right, well, they were rotten before. And well, we had a right Still trouble. Wrong. We had a right trouble getting a, a, some lads to go and do that. And I think they only did one of the gates. Well, yes, it's the left hand one, I think, that's the problem. So right, so the other one's gone, is it? Because they did do. And it was a right old job trying to get someone to quote for that because those things are flipping heavy. Mm. That's the big problem with them. To get them well, off. anyway, we need to. They're going to fall down unless we do something. So okay, we need I'll the quotes. Get some quotes. Well, we have no choice. You, uh, uh, no. Talk to Johnny about that. I thought it would first. Yeah. Mm. Well, okay. Johnny couldn't do that. There's no way. You might know a man who can. Oh, crikey! <laughs> you, you, you need some. No, I'm not talking about John. I'm talking about Johnny Mac. Oh, right. Okay. Well. Okay. Johnny, Next then. item. Responses to requests of VAT certificates for charities, so we don't have to charge them for being Yeah, and I don't think I have this, anything, but I'll, of my experience, what I know about this sort of thing, I think to be VAT exempt, you have to be, your turnover has to be huge. Right, a quarter of a million. Charity. Yeah. It's about a quarter of a million quid, yeah. I think. Mm. It's big. So I would say <coughs> most of these people that you're yeah. talking you're looking about. Looking at VAT exemptions, it's a round about that sort yeah, of Yeah, it is round about that money. You sure about that? Absolutely. Can you check on the bottom so, part of it then? Because see, if, if, the, if these if, if these I will double check it, but that is that is my experience. Of I the think there's a, there's a there's a base above which you have to. Mm. Yep. It, but it's it's well you can choose below yeah. that. Point Who can ask? When I, I can ask, I've got some of the other You can do it. 68,000, 70,000. Uh, it's a lot of well, Yeah, I was going to say it's not, it, it, it's about it, 80, 90,000 now. I'm, look, I'm off the pace now. I used to know all about this, but that was about 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. I will ask. Thank you. Right. 
I think we finished. Any other business? Jeremy? No. No? No. no. Uh, Jess and Roy. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Declare the meeting closed. Right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, oh, bit of a oh, laugh. Um, oh, two minutes to show oh, that's my favorite. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye